Good morning, friends. I'm just kind of waiting for a minute till somebody joins us here. All right. Hi, there's a couple popping up. Good morning. All right. Let's start with a song while we wait for our friends to gather. I think we all know this one. Jesus loves me. All right. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Excellent. Don't forget your symbol. This is for Jesus loves me. All right. So Jesus loves me. This I know for the Bible tells me so little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Very good, friends. Awesome. Good morning. Good to see you. Hi, Haley. Happy Mother's Day. All right. Yes. Happy Mother's Day, friends. I'm so happy to see that you have joined me today. I am Rachel. This is St. Stephen Sapling's page. Welcome to our children's ministry. And on Sunday, we've got Sunday Seeds. Excellent. Sunday Seeds. So I did a pre-post this morning of pictures. Not very much. But I'm going to try to do that for you. Give you a little prep time. I know we're moms. We're families, we're busy people, but um, multicolored paper today, if you've got it. Um, if not, markers will totally work, okay? Um, and scissors and glue, if you're feeling like cutting stuff up and being being that sort of creative, or we can just, you can just draw along with me, okay? Uh, part of this virtual challenge has been to make sure we've got things that everyone has access to. Um, so I hope that you're feeling included. I am certainly grateful that you are here with us and uh, Jesus loves you and so does Miss Rachel. All right, cool beans. So it looks like I've got quite a crew joining me this morning. Good morning, oh, friends in Minnesota. Oh, my family in Minnesota. I'm so happy you're here. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. All right, my box dads are here, lovely, okay. My health, so I, I didn't see the list go up, but I'm having to guess you're right there, okay. Um, so today, we are on the fifth Sunday of our Easter season. That's right, remember Easter isn't just a Sunday. It's a whole season. Who remembers how many days we celebrate Easter? It's a pretty big deal for us. So how many days do we celebrate it? We did Lent for 40 days, very good. <gasps> 50, did I hear 50 out there? That's excellent, yes, 50 days we celebrate Easter. And today we are on our fifth Sunday of Easter and we are uh, still, who remembers the color? Easter colors. Ooh, not green. Oh, although we do love green for our saplings. Uh-huh. Do I hear it? Who's, who's, oh, good morning. Uh, good morning, Dyer girls. It's good to see you. Okay. Our colors. We're wondering what the colors are for East. <gasps> White and gold or yellow. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make myself one of those big EO hearts because I'm sticking with hearts this season. We're going to write our name on it. Mm-hmm. Miss Rachel's kind of keeping track of Sundays. I've got a pile of hearts in the house. <laughs> I do, actually. So, let's see. And I am going to use purple. I'm going to write my name to start my day at Sunday Seeds. Okay. And today we are on May 10th. Happy Mother's Day. 2020. This is a very emotional day for lots of us. Some of us have lost grandparents or loved ones that would fill that space for motherhood. Some of us have been in motherhood or had hard times. Some of us who wanted it and have not been blessed with it. Some who have been persecuted for not choosing it. And I want you all to know that you are loved. Okay, so Miss Rachel, and it is the fifth Sunday of Easter. Now, last week, was the fourth Sunday of Easter, and we celebrated the Good Shepherd who makes us feel safe. The week before that, so fourth was Good Shepherd, the week before that was the road to Emmaus, to how we see or recognize or how we reveal God in our lives. On the second week, 
we shared some doubts with Thomas, who told us he wouldn't believe Jesus came back until he saw the holes in Jesus' hands. And did God love him any less? No. Jesus loved his friend just as much as before, even though he had questions. And so we are told that it is okay to question God, but what we must have is faith. And my friends, the first Sunday, Easter Sunday, where we get to sing hallelujah, and I cannot wait till we all come back together again and get to sing hallelujah together. Until then, will you repeat after me? Ready? Hallelujah. Very good. And again, hallelujah. 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 Excellent. Good job, my friends. Okay. Um, and then learning hallelujah, we are now, so the fifth week of Sunday, we're going to talk about being God's people. If you listen to Pastor Peter's message earlier, for the children, he talked about following the way, that Jesus is the way and the path. And there's also something that we are called in today's passage from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 2 through 10. And that is the fact that we are God's people and we are building God's kingdom. We are living stones. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? You and I, we are living stones to build in God's kingdom. And who do you think creates a firm foundation for us to build upon? That's right, my friends, Jesus. His story is there not so much just to share about the hard times and the troubles that he faced, but to help remind us, give us hope, give us faith, and show us the light and the way, okay? So for my friends, if you hadn't heard, we are using multiple pieces of paper today. This is what we are going for, okay? And this is because we are building upon our seed of God, our cornerstone of God, okay? Jesus is our cornerstone. And we are going to find different words that make us think of that. But don't, don't, get, don't get ahead of me. That's just so you can gather your supplies, okay? We're gonna read a story. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing great on time. And today, God's own people. God's own people. Very good, okay. Once again, it's from 1 Peter, which is in the New Testament. Second chapter, verses 2 through 10. Far away from Jerusalem, people began to hear the good news about Jesus, and they believed. Across mountains and seas, from the largest cities to the smallest towns, messengers, they carried letters. I'm going to show you messengers carrying letters. Thank you, Group Publishing, for this awesome World Storybook Bible. One believer wanted to honor Jesus' disciple, Peter. He wrote a letter to encourage everyone to believe. And this is the letter he wrote. Dear friends, I, God is calling you. Come out of darkness. Come out of, of life without God and come into the light. But now you, for before you believed you were alone, but now you are God's own people. You are part of God's family. And there is our friend from the darkness to being part of God's own family. People had to carry messages everywhere back then. They didn't have TV or phones or radios or newspapers. A little Otto says, yeah, but there were no commercials either. <laughs> Otto's so funny, yes. So. God is at work in you. God is building a strong faith in you. Piece by piece, your faith is growing. God is filling you with love. God is teaching you how to care for each other. Because you believe you know how important God is and a life without God is filled with rocks that make you stumble and they make you fall. Without faith, you are alone. No one will help you get up. But you are God's beloved, and God will help you when you fall. And God will protect you, and God will care for you. Milk helps babies grow. God's love will help your spirit grow. Yes. So do little babies, when babies start, are they, are they ready to take care of themselves? Hmm? 
my, my, my little Gwenny and Alice, I think you know. Does baby Ruth need a little bit of help sometimes? Yes. Do you think that mom and dad use some help sometimes too? Absolutely, yes they do, yes. Oh, and this is my yes symbol. We've been doing a little bit of sign language while we teach, so we learn sign language. More ways to communicate with one another is a blessing. So, what is something that helps your body grow? Yeah, <laughs> vegetables. Cake, yes, well I, once upon a time, when I would offer people desserts, I would frequently say that happy is healthy as well. But we use that with discretion. Very good, my friends. Oh, I love all the hearts, thank you. Okay, things that help, love helps you grow, very good. An attitude, a very good attitude, that's helpful. Yes, it is, mm-hmm. Okay, so we got fruits and vegetables. Exercise helps you, learning helps you grow, very good. Friendship love help you grow very good answers my friends with god's love we are kind with god's love we are fair with god's love we are family hi family pass this letter to the other new believers go and tell about god's love there we are now i have faith in god in my life does that mean i'll never trip over a rock again this is otto's question and ada says you might still fall but God will take care of you when you do. It's an awesome story. Thank you for listening to that, my friends. Now, we are gonna do one quick little song, and it's where I sing and you respond, okay? Yeah? Yes? We are ready, okay. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord giveth, and blessed be the rock, and may the God of our salvation be exalted. I know I did that last part quickly. So we want to do it. The Lord giveth, and blessed be the rock, and may the Lord of our salvation be exalted. Very good. Now let's try all of that. And we're going to do, it's still a call and response song. So I, I'm called the caller and you're the responders. So I want to hear you singing through the world. Okay, friends? All right. I will call upon the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? <laughs> so shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord giveth. And blessed be the rock. May the God of our salvation be exalted. Again, the Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock. And may the God of our salvation be exalted. Very good. All right, my friends, I did post that song a little earlier. So if you and your household are interested in singing it a little bit more together, I think it was a really great, fun song. I do enjoy that one. It reminds me of Luther Rock when I was a preteen. So I thank you for singing that with me, friends. Let's get creative. Okay. So making a flower. Here we go. Mm-hmm. And I am gonna choose, I think I'm gonna use this bright green piece of paper as my background. And to make my petals, I did this. I folded, folded the long way. Because we are God's people, we are living stones. We have a foundation of God. Jesus is the way. These are all words and things that create images in us and feelings of understanding about our faith that help us move forward in times of darkness or pain. Then I fold it, okay, so I fold it in half and I'm doing another half like this. And I have my folded part at the top, okay, friends? 
There we go. And I'm gonna fold it again. So if scissors are not your favorite friend, <laughs> you may wanna help someone with a bit stronger hands than you to help, because now we've got kind of a thick folding here. And for me, I did petals with a little end on them. So mine looks like that. And so remember my folded part from the beginning is at the top. <laughs> Zoop, boop, boop. And then I cut. And yes, I am making my petals separately because sometimes it's difficult for us to realize that even though we are separate, we are part of something. So I'm gonna take my bright green paper here. And together, we, friends, together, we are a strong spiritual house of faith, okay? And sometimes, we, like petals on a flower, we are each a little bit different or a lot different, all right? Can somebody uh, tell me when it is that they feel God's love. Hmm? When is a time that you feel God's love, friend? Yes, a hug, that's one of my favorite, absolutely. When you get to be with family. Maybe sometimes it's when you get to be alone or sitting in nature, that's one of my favorite times. Also being with family is one of my favorite times. A conversation with a friend that's a good answer. I like that a lot. All right, so if we have our petals, you can take your time, friends. I have drawn a stem, okay? Now, if you have just done this with markers, and that's where I said I trust your creativity. Okay, friends, I trust your creativity. So if you're just drawing it, feel free. But I want you to make sure you draw a big circle in the center. Because what is our cornerstone? Very good. Jesus. For mine, I'm going to write God. Because we've got God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right? God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I'd also like you to think, friends, of words that make you think of God. That is what is going on to our petals. So God goes in that middle space for the center of our flower because that's what's holding us together in this family, all right? Good morning, Miss Donna, it's nice to see you. So we're building a flower that represents our family and God. Now words that I think of, well, and you might wanna glue your pieces on first because I wrote mine all on there <laughs> on my first try and some of the words ended up upside down. <laughs> And you know what? That's okay. That's totally okay. Does God still love me if I feel even upside down? What do you think? Yeah, yes, absolutely. God does still love you, even if you feel like you're upside down. I think sometimes, especially if you feel that way. Let's see, I'll put the marker down while I glue. And... If anybody has noticed, most of us know somebody who likes flowers. Yeah. In this spiritual house of the Lord. Now the spiritual house, we ourselves, our spiritual house, the great outdoors, our spiritual house, our relationships, our spiritual house of the Lord. What gives us the blessing of being God's people. We are all works in progress, my friends. And God calls us to the word through the Holy Bible to learn in scripture and lessons with each other, to create strong foundations for good directions in our lives together. All right. So I've been gluing. We went a couple minutes over today, but I wanted to make sure I slowed down a little bit so we can all do this craft together. Um, I was trying to crush it into time and uh, yeah, crush, crush or smush. There we go. <laughs> um, and I, I think these extra five minutes are worth it for us 
to be able to breathe together while we get creative. Now here's my, my flower with God in the middle. And let's see, one of my first things I think of with God is love. Mm -hmm. What's another word? Can anybody type a word for me and tell me something that they think of? I think I see home. Very nice, God, a home in our heart, yes. Wherever we go, I've roamed in many places, my friends, and I've got to admit that knowing that my heart, my soul is my home was very helpful through many trials. <laughs> Not all tribulating, but many trials um, and journeys. Uh, truth, yes, that is a truth. So I'm going to write the word truth. Faith, one of my favorite. And as Lutherans, a cornerstone of our faith is justification by faith alone. It's not your acts, it's not how you pray. Although those are important, you are justified through faith alone. The only reason we're forgiven is because God has chosen to, and that's up to God. And for us, we get to praise and give thanks. So, ooh, thanks and praise. I'm gonna write the word praise. Praise is another way to say thanks. Let's see, peace. Very good. Peace and the peace of the Lord be with you. There's a great one. Ooh, and how about grace? God's grace. Yes, God's grace. All right. I also know some very awesome women named Grace that have shown me God's amazing love and grace. I'm gonna color a little bit on my flower. Just a little bit. And here we are. And it is God's chosen people. And we accept that choosing. We praise and worship with God. And that is up you know, to us and we learn and grow together in our relationships in the kingdom of God. And God lives through us and the word that we share with the world. All right? God's chosen people. And today's story was from the first book of Peter, chapter 2, verses 2 through 10. This is my second flower. If you have created these friends, please share some pictures with me, or you may send them in to Miss Connie at stephen.org. Sorry, it's Connie, C-O-N-N-I, at stephen.org. I can add that into comments after I post this. So that we may share what we are creating in God's kingdom together. So that we may help God live through our relationships. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Oh, where did it go? There's my song. Okay, we're going to sing that song one more time. If you're still coloring, please keep coloring. All right, be creative. And I bet you know someone in your household who would enjoy a flower from you today. All right, friends, happy Mother's Day. And... I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and may the God of our salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and may the God of our salvation be exalted. Very good, friends. I love you so much. Please remember, Jesus loves you, and so does Miss Rachel. You have a beautiful week, friends. I'll see you soon.